This is me about to open my very first star drop on my free to play account and what I get from these, <laughs> well, you'll see. But before we get there, I need to catch you up on what's been going on for the past month. So when I last left you, I had gained my trophies back and chosen Piper as my next unlock. And that's where we're going to start because I unlocked Piper on day 156 and then decided on Rico as my next brawler. Now after that, I immediately got Piper to power level 9. Or at least, that's what I meant to do. I went one level too far and I spent all my coins leveling her up to power 10, which left me none for a star power or a gadget. Mistakes were made, but I just started playing her. And then I remembered, I got a bunch of club coins. So after cashing those in, I picked up snappy sniping and homemade recipe. Although both gadgets and star powers are actually quite useful, but then I immediately forgot that I had gadgets at all and didn't use them at all the first game. Cause I'm smart like that. Now, over the next few days, I pushed her close to 400 trophies, and then the championship challenge came along. Now, we started off pretty good, but then hit a bad run in Brawl Ball, and that did not help our case at all. Dang it, dude. Like, she's just, like, bulldozed us. Three losses just like that, man, dude. I don't think I've ever lost three this early on in a challenge before. And then, after another pretty good run, it all ended in Bounty. But I did complete some tasks, and that gave me enough to buy the Brawl Pass this season if I wanted to, but that was something that I was going to have to decide soon whether I wanted to get Maisie in this Brawl Pass or wait until the next one. And then on day 164, I unlocked Rico and I actually stopped at power level 9 this time. Now I got Bouncy Castle for my gadget, it's solid, and I had to cash in some more club coins so I could get my star power, but I messed up again. You see, I thought I was going to get the extra Bouncy Damage star power, but no, I, I, I got the other one because like I said, I'm smart like that. And for my new brawler, I chose Squeak, although the other options were really good too. I just think Squeak is pretty fun to play and can be played in a lot of different spots. And then on day 165, I made a big switch. Hank was just released and I figured if I could get a new brawler faster than Squeak, then I should probably do that. Then I finished off that Rico push. That, my friends, is 500 trophies with Rico. I'd say that was a pretty smooth sail in. Next brawler. Now on day 169, I was just playing with Piper when I crossed 22,700 trophies and I went to collect my rewards, but I couldn't. And then I couldn't decide who I wanted to sink those power points into when I noticed I had a free badge over the shop. Hmm, free. So I head over to the shop and lo and behold, it was a crazy free offer. And with that, I had collected enough Chroma credits for a brand new brawl. Now, you all had told me over on my Twitter that I should pick Fang. So, I listened to you. I did. And with that, it made my decision on who I should level up way easier. With his roundhouse kick gadget and his fresh kick star power, I was ready to go. Well, after I did some quests with B, where I basically just stood by the safe for the entire game playing defense. On the very next day, there was the Gods of Olympus Challenge. I played with Brock the first round and dominated. I played with Tick the second round and dominated again. And for the third round, Shelly with a speed modifier? Yeah, that's insane. And with the spoils of my victory, I spent all 5,000 of my bling on one single skin. Now on day 172, I lost about 120 trophies, but honestly, that's like way better than it used to be. And I quickly gained those back as I pushed Piper to 500 trophies, but I didn't stop there. After a quick stint pushing Fang to 270, I went back to the well and got Piper to 600 trophies without a hitch. 
Now the next day I recorded a video with Harper and Tilly. You guys might have seen that. And then Tilly wanted to play some more, so instead of pushing my account, I decided to play with Tilly. And clearly she is an esports legend in the making. She was getting so mad that she could not get star player. She kept saying, but dad, I scored the goals. You got star player. Get good, kid. Get good. <laughs> Then on day 176 was the hardest challenge. No, like literally it was, it was named the hardest challenge. There was some progression in the challenge, but more importantly, there was a spray. And I needed that spray like Kairos needs a calculator. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, that's a lot. He really loves his calculator. I just like to press all of the buttons. And in this challenge, things were going great. Until they weren't. Back-to-back -back losses in Brawl Ball meant we pretty much had to win the rest of the challenge and there was still a lot to go. It turns out the answer to our prayers is uh, it's, Sh it's Shelly. Of course it's Shelly. And then after absolutely dominating people in Heist with Crow, I play like a garbage heap in Knockout. But then I brought the pain right back to the enemies in Hot Zone with Carl. And that just left Bounty. And after the first win, well, we got dunked on by this Mortis. Which meant one more loss and no special pin for me. So we put on our big boy pants and we got that next win. That brought us to one game left. And it also brought me enough credits to unlock Hank. Now I wish that I could build up this last do or die game, but nah, we smashed him. Pin unlocked, goal achieved. I then leveled up Hank to power level 9 with a star power, but I skipped on the gadget. And while they're both pretty decent, I honestly just didn't want to spend any more club coins for the gold. Now the next week was honestly a blur because I was making update sneak peek videos and I didn't hardly play at all. Over the course of six days, I worked 108 hours and I was exhausted. However, I was playing Hank one late night after update work when the message came across. Now it was like 3 a.m. so I was going to sleep, but that meant that when I woke up, star drops would be in the game. Now I'd been seeing how everybody was getting these really cool things in their first star drops, but these guys were amateurs. You see, I had the luck. I knew something good was coming my way, and with my very first star drop ever, I got... Yeah. I mean, okay, okay, but number two was actually pretty good. This could be something. Could be, could be. Hey, I gotta play at the bad randoms, yo. Let's go. And then on my final star drop, I, I got some token doublers. Could be worse. Actually, I, could it be worse? No, I think that's about the worst. Hmm. So a cool profile picture on day one. I mean, I was pretty happy about that, but there are still some big ones to come. That's what she said. All right, so we got a new day. We've got more quests. We've got a Phoenix challenge, which you know that I'm about to... Oh, that's right. I get my free pin. <laughs> nice. I like it. Now, my first star drop was, uh, I mean, kind of disappointing, but my second one was nice. But my third one was, well, two less nice than the last one. But in the process of destroying the Phoenix challenge, I did get myself a brand new profile icon, which I immediately set as active and then proceeded to dominate the rest of the challenge. <laughs> wait, wait, here comes Nani. It's all on Nani. Oh, man, you ruin our fun, Nani. All right, we have won the challenge. We collect our prize of that spray. We get that. On day 188, I tapped that star drop screen 12 times and every single time, all I saw was rare. But on the bright side, I got some credits towards Squeak, which was actually pretty nice. Payload was back in the game and my Hank was looking rather sad with his trophy, so I just kept pressing play again. And honestly, I found some pretty great randoms in the process. Oh boy, these guys are getting just dunked on right now. Mm, goodbye. Thank you very much for the help there, Mandy. I also got 300 trophies on Hank. Okay, not bad. I've been getting just rares, just rares, just, 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 just rares. My, my, my luck's got to turn sometime, right? Or there's a super rare. I mean, it's not much better, but it's a little better. I mean, you know, 120 coins. Rare. Kidding me, man. Like I see everybody post, I got a legendary, I got a mythic, I got a rare. 
Now, it was Saturday, and normally I do work on Saturdays and take Sundays off. But today, I promised the wife that we'd go to a nursery and pick out some flowers and I would plant them. So, I did that. But that being said, I still managed to get some games in. My star drops were... I mean, not not the best. But what was pretty awesome was that the championship challenge was back. Now, I couldn't find a third. You know, that's what happens when everybody deserts you. But when all else fails, you hit up one of your friends that's just a scooch better than you. I'm a little bit. We charged into the first round and easily just dominated with Bobby being Bobby. And then Bounty was up next. And I even managed to steal one star player away from Bobby. I mean, I'm not saying I'm better. I mean, look, can I just have this moment, please? once <laughs> and then we had this insanely close game in brawl ball followed by an absolutely clutch andy moment in knockout and then with our last three games in hot zone we completed the challenge 15 and 0 to pick up some nice rewards in the process so there was just one day left for my first week of star drops and the best thing that I'd gotten was a cool profile icon and 25 credits. So it was time to get my first win for the day and my first star drop and make it actually be good. So I got into a game, but the other team wasn't the problem. It was my random teammates. The first two clearly had a quest to die as many times as possible in one game completed. And then in the very next game, I had one that just stood there. We got somebody just standing there doing nothing. Do I, do I got like a quest for some kills or something? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, what are my teammates right now? What are my teammates? But eventually, we did get a win, and I got my first really rare star drop. Ooh. Come on, one more time. Oh, yo, this is going to be something. Okay, all right. This is for real. Maybe I get something right here. Come on, bring me something good. I got a Carl pen. Now, after that somewhat of a disappointment, I was back to having the best teammates ever. Yeah, seven kills by their one guy. I got all of all of our team's kills again. I got them all. So I bailed on Matt Maker and went to duos where I found a teammate who was actually pretty decent. And then a couple of games later, I got star drop number 17 for the video. Oh, oh, here we go. Let's get this right here. Instantaneous epic. Upgrade again. Upgrade again. We might get something here. We got coins! All right. So then, after 191 days of being a free-to-play in Brawl Stars, I've gotten 23,500 trophies, a bunch of new brawlers, and one last chance for glory in my final star drop for this video. One last shot at glory. We've gotten a profile icon. Decent. We've gotten a pin. Also decent, although slightly disappointing, but it's fine. This is the chance where we get something amazing. This is the, this is the chance. <laughs> Aww. Some of you guys have gotten some pretty amazing stuff. I've gotten, you know, like, eh, but I do get a brawl pass, and that's going to be coming up in the next episode.